Displaying highlighted code snippets on your blog can be a headache. Luckily, the Syntax Highlighter Evolved plugin exists. We're going to show you how to use it to keep code as clean and readable as possible. To get started, search for the plugin, install, and then activate it. Under the settings menu in your WordPress dashboard, you will find a new item labeled Syntax Highlighter. Let's check out the settings page, which is relatively straightforward. One particular element that we like about this plugin is that you get a good number of customizations regarding how the code is displayed on your site. You can add CSS classes to the embed, adjust line number padding, choose colored themes, use smart tabs and word wrap, and decide how to load individual coding language highlighting on a site-wide scale. For example, you can choose whether or not to display line numbers. For large pieces of code and tutorials, line numbers are invaluable. However, when you have short snippets, there's no need to continually label them as lines one and two. Removing those can clean up the look of the code quite a lot. And then there's the tab size. The option defaults to four, but you can change it to any number you want. If you scroll to the bottom of the settings page, you will see a large code preview as well as a large number of short code parameters. Your time would be well spent going over them just to see what all the plugin can do to highlight your code snippets. Additionally, any changes that you have made above to how the code displays in the above settings will be reflected here. So be sure to hit save after changing any of the options. Anywhere that you can render a short code, you can use this. In Divi or the classic editor, you can use the text module. We do suggest because of how the visual tab works that you use the text tab for these to maintain special character formatting. If you're a Gutenberg user, things are just as simple. You can, again, use the text block for this, but even better than that is the Syntax Highlighter Evolved block itself. Included with the plugin installation is its own Gutenberg block, so if you're not a shortcode person and don't want to fiddle with the parameters, you don't have to. Simply find the block under formatting and insert it into your post or page. Regardless of how you insert the code, you will see the same rendering on the front end of your WordPress site. And there you go. You're all set and ready to start adding your highlighted code snippets. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.